Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome again to In The Zone. Together with me is Coach PK, Coach Victor, and Coach John. All right. Today, guys, we're going to talk about who is your best three point guys right now. Okay, we're talking about active players. Okay, in NBA. All right. So each of every one of us, okay, coaches, okay, will say, okay, who is our best three-point guards in NBA right now. And guys, for you that is watching right now, okay, you can also suggest or comment below who is your best point guard. All right. So maybe uh, I'm going to start. Okay. For me, press uh, three uh, best point guard for me. Okay. My opinion right now is number one is Luca. Okay. Luca, as you can see, his performance last season was really good. Okay, I think he will be an NBA uh, MVP soon. Okay, so I'm rooting for Luca. Okay, second will be, of course, uh, champion caliber Steph Curry. Okay, and my third one is Jamorant. Okay, as you know, he's rookie, but he's just killing it. All right, so this is my best three point guard, active point guard right now in NBA. Okay, I'm going to support more about it later. Okay. As we hear, okay, to other coaches. Okay, coaches, who wants to go first? Who is your best three-point guard? Okay, for point guards, my first criteria will be, you know, I'm more the traditional type of point guard where they are shorter than six foot four. So I will not, you know, consider uh, players like Luca, maybe LeBron, who are basically playmakers. You know, who can function in, to, you know, to, to play in a variety of positions. So for me, the traditional three point guards will be third, Chris Paul, who has been playing for a, 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 a few decades already. Okay. So, few, you, you know, he, he has um, outplayed quite a number of young guards. And then, you know, um, especially in the last season, he has found his mojo again, you know, to lead the Thunder to the playoffs. So I find that, you know, and then he's uh, now with the Suns trying to inspire Devin Booker to greater heights. Second on my list will be Damian Lillard, the long shoot, long range shooter of the Portland Trail Blazers. Okay. So he's dynamic. He can pass well. And he, the, the point about him is so far he has stayed with Portland. He has not gone, you know, ring chasing, move around, as much as he's a star player, and you hear a lot of star players after a few seasons of the, the team not doing well, they start to, you know, uh, have trade requests out there, trying to move around. So I respect him on that. And the top of my list will be Steph Curry, because I feel that he changed the game of, uh, you know, our, our con concept, you know, of during playoffs, you know, championships. We, 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 we used to think that, you know, we, Teams cannot win just by relying on long range shooting. So I think the Splash Brothers, Golden State, change all of the, you know our perception. You know, you can actually win by shooting a lot of trees. Okay, that's when that, that, that's why Houston Rocket began you know shooting more trees than two sometimes. Okay, and then uh, Steph Curry, especially he was the unanimous MVP in 2016, so that counts for something. And then I'm really looking forward to him coming back. In the new season after the injury. Wow, strong lineup for point guards, Victor. Obviously, okay, there are championship caliber, every, every one of them. All right, so next up will be Coach. Kike. Mine will be uh, pretty similar to Coach uh, Victor, but I have uh, my eyes on Trey Young. So I got Trey Young, I got Damian Lillard, and I got Luca. Okay, yeah, Luca is more like a playmaker, but he's actually listed as a as a point guard. Lah. So, uh, for me, he's a uh, probably the best uh, rising young star among um, the current crop of uh, guys like Ja Moran and all these. So, but I think um, these three are my pick for the top three point guards right now. But uh, of course, if uh, Steph is back. Then uh, Trey, sorry, you have to take a back seat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 
That's my choice. Yeah, I think uh, Stephen Gary is coming back. Yeah. yeah. He just so said that uh, Clay Thompson is got injured. <laughs> okay, but I believe right. So, I, oh, ACL, ACL minimum um, six to one year. Yeah. You know, recovery. I say one season. So, uh, you already said. Yeah. Yeah. So it's around one season. I I believe right because uh, I got a lot of teammates. You know, I've been through ACL, so might as well you know uh, leave this season behind. Okay, and then prepare for the next season. Because if he will force himself right, ACL is different. You know, uh, if you force yourself to play with, a, with that kind of injury, you just keep coming back. And then maybe you will lose two seasons in it. So one season is not bad. Okay, hopefully you can recover soon. Okay, go, John. Let's go. Well, first of all, hi, everyone. Uh, good to be back on the show. Um, um, Pretty much can't go past. I don't think Steph Curry is the number one point guard when he's when he's on on the money. Um, I think as Coach Victor said there, you know, it's he's changed the game a lot as well with the the fact that he's such a shooter and such a playmaker as well. And my other two, I'm going to go with some young guns as well, and similar to some of the other some of you guys, I think Damian Lillard Lillard's becoming a great point guard and. Um, I think Morant's going to be the one to watch in the future. Uh, so they're my three. Um, no particular reason or order for those three as well. I think, again, Curry's, Curry's probably the number one, and the other two are, you know, pretty similar. Um, but they're both up and comers, of course. Um, I mean, Lily has been around for a little bit longer, but he, you know, he, he's showing that he's going to be a force in the future. Yeah, I got wow. to play with them, uh, the team that plays against them, that travels with them for three months. Um, it was cool. Uh, it's 
it's a show. So it kind yeah, of it really wasn't my, but it was good. I got to see the world a little bit for three months. And then I found my way to Singapore. And after Singapore, man, things just started going up for me. I, I left Singapore, mm -hmm. went to Australia, left Australia, went to Italy. Mm -hmm. Left Italy, went back to Australia, came here and played. <laughs> then went back to, then went to Slovakia. And then I found, wow. my, then I found my way to Shot Zone. Since 2013, yes. you've been all over the world. Yes. <laughs> wow, and now he's a full time coach, okay, of the number one, okay, a training facility and training uh, a company, basketball training company in Singapore. You're the biggest right now, okay. Coach Jurel is with us, okay. Of course, he's helping with the elite players. Okay, guys, if you want to be trained by Coach Jurel, very simple, just call SG Basketball and then. Look for Coach Jurel, he will be available to you. Okay, it's Coach Jurel. Okay, we want to talk about your playing experience, right? So, um, aside from NCAA, because of course NCAA is, is there, is the highest, okay? Yeah. What is the next highest and then the most uh, uh, challenging part for you while you're still playing? Um, the challenging part is staying in shape. I mean, you never know, <laughs> you never know when you get that call to, uh -huh. to go play. But I try. I always take bas basketball seriously. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest part. What you put in is what you get out. That's what, and that's what my college coach always would tell me. Mm -hmm. Whatever you put in is what you get out. So, you know, if you don't put that much work in, you yeah. never see results. So it's a different story when you are playing pro internationally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 I mean, it's it's totally different. You know, you don't play up to par. They send you home. Wow. That's that's the challenging that's part. It's a big pressure. Yeah, you know, it's a big pressure for real. So if you do your job, you keep your job. If uh -huh. you don't, it's another person that's waiting to take your spot. Wow. How many years did you play uh, professionally uh, overseas? I would say seven, probably seven years. Seven years. And then you settled in Singapore to become a coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I, 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 I coach. I love doing training, especially with the kids that mm -hmm. have goals to make it since I'm overseas to make it to America to the next step. Yes. I love helping those guys. I've helped wow. I've helped a total of four players from uh, Singapore wow. to achieve their goals to go to America because of my network connection because I want to be a college coach after yes. probably next year, maybe not not sure yet, but my next step is being a college coach and uh -huh. with college coaching you have to network, you have to know coaches, yes. you have to talk to them all the time and that's the next step in my life that I want to make that transition. Wow. And I think I can with my work ethic, networking, and yes. I love, I love networking, I love helping. Guys, for those who don't know, okay, Coach Jarrell is the main coach of Area Loiter. If you don't know Area Loiter, okay, you're not Singaporean, okay? <laughs> Area Loiter actually right now, okay, is in a college. Yeah, yeah, man, uh, she's, at, she's at Colgate. And Colgate. I've had her when she first came to Singapore back then, and from there we just, Continue to work, but mm -hmm. the biggest thing is she came to America every summer, and mm -hmm. I've all I was able to show her around and wow. network with people. And our relationship, me and her relationship, and her father relationship grew so much where it was easy for me to say, "Hey, coach, I got this girl that's in Singapore. You might want to take a look." And then one thing led to another. Now another college coach is to know about her. Wow, that's what happened. All right, guys, and also for Jarrell, okay, Topper Loiter and Jarrell actually started the chat. Yeah man, I remember uh, I was actually I was actually in Slo Slovakia playing that uh -huh. right? Tumor called me and said, Hey I got I wanna show you something. Mm -hmm. I flew from Slovakia to Singapore after the season in Slovakia. I came here. He took me to this place and I'm like, Tumor, what's this? And it was shot zone. And wow. after that I was stuck. Alright. And then guys, uh, we want to know more about the pro app here. Quite famous in pro M N. Oh, okay, what happened? Well, I tore my Achilles in 2013. Uh -huh. I tore my left Achilles, and then when I came back the following year, I was out for eight months. And the first job to play, I missed the first year for him. Yes. The second year, that was my year. I came back from my Achilles, and I tested out. And I ended up testing out, and I ended up winning the pro M S B L championship. And a lot of people were yes. by that because I had a pretty good season. Especially yes. the championship game is so doubt. Surprise. What, what team is that? Uh, Singapore Falcons. Falcons. It was pretty good. I mean, pro MSBL. I should have came by the third year, but I did. Yeah, that's when I went to Slovakia. Wow, you got the championship. And then, did you went back to Slovakia? No, I, that was my first year. Me winning the championship, the pro 
won the SBL championship in 2014. 14, yeah. Then I got a job in a Slovakia player. And that's why I, that's why I didn't come back to Turkey. Oh, all right, all right. And then after that, you stay in Singapore. Yeah, stay here. And then I, I go to numerous tournaments. I get picked up by a couple of teams to play the tournament. Uh -huh. so, okay. Last question. What is the most memorable uh, thing that you did as a coach or as a player? Honestly, um, when I took my Achilles, I didn't think I would ever play basketball. Uh -huh. yeah. wow. But I wanted to uh, my, I wanted to my career. I didn't want to give up. So that was a big challenge. I didn't give up. Wow. And I was able to win a championship and play another three years on top of that. Yeah. And then at the end of the day, if I can come to the end, wow. come overseas, that's a great all right, guys, you heard Coach Irel, okay, if you really want to play overseas, okay, and then you have a dream, you know, to go to America. Contact SC Basketball now, look for Coach Irel, and he offers you personal coaching. He also running the team training, okay, in elite level, in adult level, okay, we have it all for you with Coach Irel. Coach Irel, thank you so much for your time, all right, and that's it for In The Zone Coaching Edition. See you next time.
then I was. I was I, uh, is it the NBL? Uh, no. Oh, in internal, the internal, internal league. Oh, right, right. So then after that, I went to the other uni. Um, I played with them. I played with Larry. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, Larry. Uh, Larry. Yeah, he's playing there. Uh, and some of the Seagulls guys. Uh huh. Uh, uh, some of the police boss. Uh huh. Seniors. Uh huh. Yeah, they are about thirties, but wow, they can really run really fast, uh -huh. faster than me. Yeah, so I, but you are so fit, especially when you uh, enter Shadow uh, last time. Yeah. All right, uh, you are so fit last time. Until now, until uh, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, then I played. Um, uh, Ta talking about yeah, coaching. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I started coaching three years ago. Uh -huh. Last year, I coached U11 teams because uh -huh. I managed to get first place. Uh -huh. That was my first wow. team that I got. So the first, yeah. So that's already my greatest achievement there. For this year, we did really, really, really play. Yes. So, yeah. Any uh, memorable moment in playing or coaching? Uh, okay. Me playing. That's one year. Because of me, we lost the entire season. Oh, really? So, series, I call it series. Okay, so, uh -huh. uh, I think we were down by... No, that's a tight game. Uh -huh. About five seconds. Yes. My opponent drive. I wanted in place. Hands up. Feet. Yes. Foul. Opponent get two free throws, end of the game, lost by one, because of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you play yourself. Uh, oh, well, it's, it's a basketball. Yeah, it's you basketball, know? so yeah, we got to So that's your memorable yes, moment. Most memorable. It's so sad. No, Any happy memorable moment? No, no, bother me. No, just, just this. This is a very hard lesson for me. So. All right. So it's a memorable lesson for you. Yes. All yeah. right. It so, may not be very good, but it's something that worth. Uh, Mem uh, yeah, 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 worth remembering. Yes. All right. So, uh, speaking about uh, coaching, who influenced you to become a coach? Wow. Uh, because suddenly you, you have a passion yes, in coaching. Yes, it's, it's because it's police. I... Because police, right? Police, honestly, is very stable. But yes. of course, yes. edgy basketball is very stable as well. Yes. Okay. But police is in the government. We yes. need to accept that. The, if you're in the government, okay, you are you are stable, you are secure, yes, your future yes. is there. So, yes, okay, uh, actually, just just me. I just wanted to try something new. Uh -huh. uh, so I decided to take up part time first with uh -huh. the and then uh, Coach Dean and Coach Irish were uh -huh. guiding me throughout yes. like half a year, one year. Uh -huh. Then I started to gain a little bit more interest, seeing kids in mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's the most. Thing that I, that I, wow. So mainly yeah. Coach Lee and Coach Iris influence yes. you and then give you a break, you know, yes. to become yes. a coach. Okay, for those who are uh, kids or uh, players that want to be a coach, what what advice does that you can give? First, to become a player, and then second, how to become a coach. Being a player is rather than I say easy. Uh huh. Compared to a coach, uh -huh. coach, you have a lot of things to think about. Uh -huh. What's the play? Uh -huh. What's your what's your player skill? Uh -huh. and, and their well-being also yes. your responsibility. Yes. Yeah. So if you are willing to think of that responsibility, then uh -huh. maybe you can you can start trying to do part time with us. Yeah. Wow. Then you can from there. Okay. All right, Coach Wayrong. Uh, any uh, golden nuggets of advice? Uh, wow. Anybody out there wants to become a uh, player, to become a coach, go. First of all, we have to love basketball. That's the most important thing. Yeah. <laughs> all yes. right. All right. Coach Wayrong, thank you so much yeah. for your time. Yeah. All right, guys, you heard more about Coach Wayrong. You know him more now. They better because of In The Zone, Coach's Edition. And that's for it for today. See you next time. Bye-bye. It is amazing what Steph Curry can do with a basketball. Fires a three. Oh! I am guilty as charged. Whoa. Way down to bang! Bang! Oh, Whoa. what a shot from Whoa. Curry! Spectacular move! I have disturbed the peace. Agitated and provoked. Think big, dream big, have confidence in yourself. Aided and abetted. I am not alone. There were others before me. Now water can flow or it can crash. I was not thinking about a Korean dog. I was thinking about survival. Trespassers, 
instigators, disruptors of the status quo. There are those who will try to dismiss us, reject us, and ignore us. But the ones who are ready to change the game for good will join us. I am just an icon living. Guys, okay, coaches have spoken, okay, the best three-point guards in NBA. Okay, who is yours? Guys, you can comment below who is your best three-point guard right now, or you can vote, okay? These are three, uh, our uh, choices of point guard. You can just vote one, two, three, four, okay? And let's see uh, what will happen. All right, guys, looking forward so much on your vote or your best three-point guards okay so guys that's for in the zone thank you so much and see you next time bye 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 see you everyone good to see you girls